Welcome to Cloudy Knit Crochet. My name is Lori. I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you. Yesterday, I went to this cute cafe called Cloud Nine. And when I saw these clouds hanging from the ceiling, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta take a photo of that to share with you guys. So while we were there, we both ordered a pumpkin spice latte and it was the prettiest drink I've ever had because it said hello pumpkin on it. What a great way to bring in the fall season. Hey everyone, it's officially autumn. Happy autumn. In episode 42, I will be doing two unboxings, an acquisition, a whip, and a finished object. And keep an eye out for these two characters in my video. Since I do all my filming in the cat's domain, I thought I'd add something to my videos. So each time I do a video, I'm going to add a famous cat quote. All right, let me read that cat quote to you. I believe cats to be spirits come to earth. A cat, I am sure, could walk on a cloud without coming through by Jules Verne. I thought that was the perfect quote because of my channel's name. Now, let me show you that F.O. Before we do the unboxing for the Luther collection for the month of September, I wanted to share with you my finished objects of the designation squares that I made out of their August box. So let me go ahead and pull out this one. This one was number 12 out of the August box. And I really enjoyed working with this color. You can see the season of fall is definitely coming, coming with the orange and browns and pinks in there. So this was a really fun pattern. I enjoyed making this one. Now I get only the one skein in my box. So again, I wasn't sure if the one skein was gonna be enough to make both of the squares. So I went ahead and just did another design on my own, something really simple. And this one was just uh, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then you just repeat that throughout. And then um, this one didn't quite make it to 12 inches, so then um, I did a border of just single crochets going all, all around. So those were my two finished objects that I made out of the August Luther Collection box. Now let's go ahead and open up that September box. Time sure goes by fast. It seems like I'm always doing the monthly unboxings for either the Leather um, Collection or for uh, Crochet Society. So this is a uh, Leather Collection and it is for the month of September. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Oh, okay, this is the second time um, the second month that I've noticed they've been putting them in the Rekonza bags. I really like these, these bags. I reuse them um, for projects or if the bag is big enough and I buy, I don't know, more than a couple skeins of the same yarn, I store it all in this uh, one Organza bag. So let's go ahead and get take all this out. Ooh, green. One of my favorite colors. And I wonder what month we're going. Oh, okay, here we go. We got stuffing. I tell you, every time I see stuffing, I think of Amagrumi. Oh, we got a lot of goodies. Oh, we are going to Scotland this month. Wow, check out that castle. I have never gone to Scotland. I've been to England, 
but not Scotland. Okay, so, oh, in here, looks like we got uh, stitch markers. Now that's a different kind of um, style. I haven't tried this style before, but this looks like it'll be easy to slip on and off, and you don't have to like open up those lobster claws. So I'm gonna try these out. These are nice. And, oh, and it looks like you have different sizes too. So you got a fair amount of stitch markers. So here's the stitch marker, and I'm not quite sure what the style is. So maybe we'll find that out in the book. <clears throat> and here's our yarn. They um, hand dye their own yarn, and the company is owned by a husband and wife. And uh, this yarn is 100% superwash merino, a DK weight, 231 yards. I love working with their yarn. It just like glides right through your hands and over the hook. And then, ooh, check out that hook. Wow. Now that's pretty. And it, it says size B. So that's a tiny little hook there. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what patterns um, are in, the, in this month. The patterns that I make out of the subscription box is the designation squares. And for this month, we're making two squares, number 14 and 15. So that's what I'll be making with this yarn. Okay, the first pattern is the One Skein Project, and it is the Scotland Yarn Cake Cozy. I've been seeing these on Etsy. I've never tried one. Um, I think I have an extra skein of, um, Lether Collection yarn, and if it's a DK weight, I think I'm going to make this pattern up because I've always, um, was curious how these cake cozies work. Now, this other pattern in the book is for a two skein project. Oh my gosh, it's a pumpkin. I was just thinking about that. Um, I've never crocheted a pumpkin before, and I would love to do that to decorate um, my house with that, to go with my other fall decorations. That's really cute. I might just have to buy some extra yarn from them just so I can make that pumpkin. I'll keep you guys posted if I end up making that pumpkin or not. They put in a bonus pattern and it is for a mini pumpkin. That's cool. So after I make my squares, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, but I would love to make that little guy. Then I could say I crocheted a pumpkin. So I don't know, I, yeah, in fall, fall is my favorite season. And I noticed on their website, they have a new collection of yarn, which is their fall collection. So I don't know, I might have to go take a look. So those are the three patterns that I found for the month of September in the Scotland collection. So I'm wondering if the stuffing, maybe that gets used for the cozy. No, no, I'm sorry. I bet the stuffing is used for that mini um, pumpkin. That's what it's for. I bet that's what it's for. And I really like that hook. Look how it matches up. They always do this really nice color combination um, for their boxes. Isn't that gorgeous? 
So thank you. Thank you for watching this um, unboxing. And I will leave Lether Collection um, website information in the description box below. Okay, I got another monthly subscription that I wanted to share with you. And it is called Knit Wit Nerd. So let's go ahead and open it. This is my kitty Chase right here. And he's really excited because he's looking out the window at the birds in the tree. So again, we're back in the cat's domain. Okay, knit wit nerd. Stitch markers, look at. <laughs> oh, this is a nice package. Look at that really nice package. They, um, I really like that. This is uh, definitely could be reusable. That is really nice. Give you a little closer look at that. Purple flowers on a background of gray. And they send them out monthly and they um, have options for the different size clasp. You could get them for crochet or the circular kinds for knitting needles. So it's real versatile, so that's really nice. So let's, oh wow, look at all of them that I got. Oh good, I got a little hedgehog. I've been meaning to get a little hedgehog. Look at him. <laughs> I wanna do an amigurumi of a hedgehog. That is cute. So let's, wow, there's just, so many. I'll put um, the the cost, I'll put that up on the screen um, when I check that out. And then I found them on the website CrateJoy.com. And CrateJoy has all these different kinds of subscription boxes. Um, I've um, purchased subscription boxes from them uh, a few times and I haven't had any problems receiving them. So let's take a look what else we got. Oh, got little rocks. Oh, oh, and a ladybug. Look at that, Lisa, a little ladybug. And, ooh, that one's really pretty too. Okay, now let's check out the clasp. These are nice. I like these. See how big that is? You won't have any problems looping that around your, your yarn on your project. That is a really nice clasp. Give you a closer look. This is a really nice subscription. Wow, so if you need to stock up on stitch markers, you I got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. If I counted right, I got eleven. And then that little hedgehog, oh my gosh, he's adorable. Okay, so that is my monthly um Knit Wit Nerd um, subscription box. Okay, let's open up that acquisition that I ordered on Etsy. I went to a Etsy shop and I ordered a project bag. And it came in this really pretty paper saying thank you. And we got a card. Let's go ahead and open the card. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, cute little note. Hello, Lori. Thank you for your order. I hope you will enjoy using your new project bag. Please take a minute to leave a review on Etsy about your purchase from my shop. If you have any questions, please contact me through Etsy messages. Thank you again, Mary. 
What a nice, thoughtful thank you card. And the name of her uh, Etsy shop is MLD Thread with the Z at the end. Let me show you what I got. I've been trying to get a couple more project bags for all my whips so I could be a little more organized. And I was looking for a fabric, sorry for all that noise, that had something to do with yarn. So when I saw the cute little sheep, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I've always wanted a little project bag with sheep. So this one, it has a nice little wrist handle to carry it. And this time I got one with a zipper. And again, I really like getting the bags with that box bottom. It just feels like you have more room um, to put your stuff in, if you could see that. So there you go. That cute fabric with the little sheep. I like it. This is um, gonna be a really nice size for doing um, socks or any other kind of small crochet project. And I will leave that Etsy shop name um, in the description box below if you would like to go check out her uh, shop. This is the first time I've ordered from this shop. Now let me show you um, what size project will fit in this project bag that I have. Now you remember that I made my first pair of crochet socks for me. Well, I found a free pattern and um, it comes with a tutorial from Marley Bird. And I will share all that information in the description box below if you wanna make this pair of socks. Um, so the yarn I'm using is Patton's Croy Socks. It is the color of gray brown, uh, 166 yards, and it is made with 75% wool and 25% nylon. So, um, so I got the yarn and this pattern for socks, it's not going to be like how I crocheted my first pair, which was from the toe to the ankle. This pattern is crocheting from the top of the sock down to the toe. So right here is how far I've gotten so far on this sock. And you can see kind of the cuff right here and now I'm working down the leg so so technically that I'm sharing a work in progress so so anyway I just I'll show you more about the sock the more I work on it in future videos so that's what I was able to get in this size project bag so that way you guys have more of a visual of the size. Did you guys find those two characters in the video? If you did, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now until we meet again.